everybody! Welcome to Wednesday's live stream. Today is Wednesday the 13th, and at the very beginning of this video, we are going to be doing the random number draw for the winner for the 3K giveaway video. So, let me just grab out my little tablet thinger here. And get chat up would probably be a good idea. Hi, Candy. How are you doing today, hon? I'm going to apologize in advance if you can hear my little one in the background. He is just playing up a storm right now. Jody. Okay, so for those of you that entered in the giveaway, I wrote down everybody's names here and the book they said they wanted. We had quite a few entries. Rather than printing them out, I just went ahead and wrote them all down, trying to save myself some ink. So we had 99 entries. So I'm just going to use the random number generator on Google. So we'll put in from numbers... My little keyboard here wants to show up. There we go. So from 1 to 99. And here we go. So number 27. So looking on here. <laughs> that's you, Helly. And you're actually here in everything. Perfect. So you are the winner. Hopefully you guys can see that. I've got a little bit of weird light coming in because the sun's starting to shift now. Spring is getting closer. Hi, everybody coming in. So, Helly, you said you wanted Steampunk Darlings. So let me just write down my email address here, or actually pop it in the chat. So that's it right there. Everything is lowercase. Don't forget two E's on goodbye. And if you want to email me with your address, I will get your book sent out as soon as I can. Congratulations again. Well, that was easy. <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for entering. And we'll probably have another giveaway here in the near future. So keep your eyes open for that. So hi everybody joining, Helly, Lulu, Susie, welcome everyone. Yeah, what's an email address? <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people I actually email though. I swear, like when I was younger I never used email address. Now it's just, I email people all the time, it's strange. get my fancy book down and write that down. I'll have a list of all the giveaways and stuff that we'll be doing on the channel. If I can find where I put them here. Just because anybody who knows me knows that I love to keep lists. So I've got lists of requested videos, um, lists of super chatters, so that way I can Request to send them out a thank you card. I've got lists of my completed pages, so I know which ones to show in what videos. <laughs> okay, so right here. Make sure I spell your name right. Again, that was Steampunk Darlings, right? Yes. Has anybody seen Dusty around? Still waiting on her to message me with her choice of book and address. But I haven't caught her around to remind her. Hi, Nick and Tina. Talia. 
Hi, Taryn. Oh. <laughs> Miss Lilo is in spaz mode right now, apparently. Hi, Charlotte. Thanks, everybody, for joining. I just wanted to give do the giveaway at the beginning of the video. That way, those who entered that don't really watch lives would be able to find it easily. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can start in on our coloring page, which I'm super excited to continue. I think we probably will have another part on this, even if we do finish almost everything today, because I think I'm going to do the background in colored pencil, and I imagine that it's probably going to take a while. I'm a little bit nervous because I want to try a new technique that I haven't really done before, so it should be interesting. Hi Becky, Veronica, Sandy, everybody for being here. I hope everybody's doing good. Oh, I don't know why, but my anxiety is just through the roof today for some reason find myself holding my breath. <laughs> Thanks, Helly. I'm quite smitten with this. Hi, Raquel. Helly won the uh, giveaway. So definitely huge congratulations to her. Boy, really? Lilo, yeah? Are you sure? Oh, you're just so hard done by, aren't you? You poor thing. Why? What do you want? Yeah, all the attention in the world, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear her talking back, but you can literally have conversations with this cat, and it is hilarious. So... <laughs> Do I still have the pencils I used last time? I think I do. Maybe not, actually. I might have put them away. I'm not sure why I do that, though. Okay, so for the bird's belly, well, body, I mean, we used... Yeah, I don't have them out, so I'll have to grab them. <laughs> She's so sweet. She meows all the time. We need the dioxazine purple hue and the non photo blue, and then the black. And we'll zoom in a little bit here. Oh, I'm glad you're out of the hospital, Susie. I hope everything's okay. <laughs> That's too funny, Jody. Maybe she was a fish in her past life. Hi, Nadia. Thanks for joining. So, we'll finish coloring our other bird here and then we can continue putting in some colors. And I did decide, I know we said we were going to stick to three different greens, but I decided that I want kind of like a dark, rich purpley leaf in there as well. Um, I know if you guys have been following all the live streams, I was talking about doing these hearts a different color, and I do want to. I want to do these hearts, these vines here, as well as let's see if I can find them. these hearts here. I want to do them a little bit of a different color. I'm hoping that it will work. I think it will. So that's the plan. We'll see if it works though. But for now, I'm going to pick up the dioxazine purple hue. What are you doing, Brett? Watch the camera. <laughs> That's okay, Veronica. You go ahead and work and work. Thanks, Jody. Oh, 
Oh, well, hopefully you're able to adjust with it, hun. I know we're still trying to change our lifestyle ever since Rain was diagnosed with his spondylitis. It's definitely hard to make those lifestyle changes though, that's for sure. But bad bonus for me because he actually wants to start eating healthier and I love healthy food. So <laughs> works in my favor a little bit there at least. So I'm mostly just keeping the dioxazine purple in on the edges. And then just kind of blending it in. I'm going really light for now. Oh, you're going to start this all the area. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you're such a brat. You know that? <laughs> oh, there you go, Susie. There's one benefit. You can't just lay on the half of the book that I'm not coloring in, can you? Here, if I move this, will you lay over here? Come, Come over this way. Come on. Okay, I can live with that too. That's good right there. Can't see the other bird though, <laughs> which I'm kind of trying to copy off. But I guess we'll just wing it. Literally wing it, cause they're birds. <laughs> Can you get your butt out of my face? My goodness, lady. <laughs> okay. So we've got little bits of purple coming up here. I'm just using a light pressure, blending it out a little bit. I want to be able to go over with the non-photo blue, which is really going to lighten it up. But for the most part, it's just on the edges. We've got it. Let's just do the body first, and then we'll do the wings after, I think. How did we do this last time? I think we went in with the non-photo blue over top. I'm not going to go too dark. Just kind of lightly go over it, especially on the very outer edges. What's up, kiddo? You can come in. Hey, Jenny, what? <clears throat> what? I've been pooping on my bed. Oh my I've goodness, kiddo. I've been pooping on my bed. But it did not tell me, so I lied by mom. I, I am so sorry, guys. Bombs. I, I don't think everybody else wants to know about that. <laughs> but yes, I'm very proud of you. Good job. Yeah. Good job. All right. <laughs> Go play. Love you, Dad. Oh, goodness. Oh, I love you, too. You're a sweet baby. Love you, Mom. Love you, yeah, apologies about that. <laughs> Good for him, though. As soon as I said that he's standing there, he's got both of his hands over his mouth. He looks so embarrassed, the poor thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they've got no filters, do they? Nope, none at all. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell Rain about that. Rain will just laugh his head off. Coming in with the black. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's pretty funny. <laughs> I did not expect him to come in here and say that. Okay, 
Okay, so I want to make his body fairly black, really dark, but I do really want these purple areas to really show through against the black. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> I'd love to have a girl, but my fear of getting another boy is just like, yeah, not happening. <laughs> I mean, I love him, but I don't think I can handle another boy. I really don't. <laughs> I am not that strong-hearted. <laughs> I tell Rain all the time, if I, the, the cause of death for me is going to be a heart attack with all the shenanigans that this kid puts me through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Charlotte. He was quite proud doing that on his own for the first time. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grab the non-photo blue again. I'm going to press a little bit harder now. And I'm going to try and blend this into the black a bit. And over top of the purple. Oh, actually, yeah, thinking about that, I've got four nieces, and they're probably all worse than him. <laughs> but you don't find them on the top of a bunk bed, or, you know, trying to use a grocery bag as a parachute to jump off the railing, or things like that. They're usually a little bit smarter than boys in that sense. <laughs> oh, it would have to, Becky be a warrior after having that many boys. <laughs> okay, I just want to darken up the black even more, I think. Hi, Shonda. Hi, Sue. How are you lovelies doing today? Mine just boss him around and tell him that he has to be the dad when they're playing house or the baby and stuff. And yeah, he, he takes orders from them. His, his older cousin is pretty bossy. Oh, well, that's wonderful, Sue. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Glad to hear that, Shonda. I'm pretty good, too. Just had a little bit of a blooper moment there. <laughs> I'm not repeating it though, so if anybody who joins is curious, they can just watch it back. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful and sunny here. The Chinook wind storm kind of died down. For those who don't know, a Chinook wind is like a warm wind, which is really nice, especially this time of year, because it blows through and it starts to melt the snow and stuff. Am I doing okay? Yeah, the right side's here. So I think I might take the little one out later and we might go build a snowman while the snow is super, super kind of melted. It's perfect snowball and snowman weather. Hopefully this means spring is around the corner, but Canada likes to play tricks, so it could be super sunny one week and then snowing again the next, who knows. Oh, that's awesome, Charlotte. Oh, I hated taking him for needles when he was that little. It broke my heart probably more than his. Hi, Nanamo. <laughs> Weather is bipolar. Well, I know a lot of you in the States were complaining about that strange cold that you got that wiped out a lot of plants, which is kind of out of season, I think you said. And then I guess in the UK, they had one of the warmest Februaries that they've had in quite a while. And then here, we've had a really mild winter up until 
right about the last couple months, which is strange for us too, so I feel like this weather is just out of control lately. Oh, that's sweet, Jody. That's a good way to think about it. I you know it was easier when Carvin was a little baby, but when he had his, um, I don't know what exactly they're called, but basically his preschool immunizations, he did not like that lady at all. He comes out, he's like, that lady hurt me. <laughs> Poor kid. Okay, back in with the black here. I'm going to start off light, fade it kind of towards the purple. We'll put in the blue after, I think. There's not much room around these feathers, so I've got to be really careful. Hi, Natalie. Anybody else I've missed? Anybody lurking? Thanks for being here. Okay, we can darken the black up at the very edges where we want it the darkest. And then, of course, we lighten up the pressure as we get to where we want our colored highlights to be. Oh, thank you, Nanamo. I'd have to say, honestly, I do think this is some of my best coloring yet. I showed Rain after the stream on Monday, and he looks at me. He's like, yeah, I've seen better. He's like, are you kidding me? He's like, no, that looks really good. <laughs> He's such a shithead. Oh, as puppies should be, Veronica. <laughs> it's sweet. <laughs> oh no, Raquel. <laughs> I, I don't blame him, though. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Shonda. I know I'm having a little bit of back pain myself. I think I might have to go do some yoga later on. What are you doing, miss? Hey, Lo. What are you doing? I'm going to really go dark in underneath these top feathers here. That way you can see that they're kind of coming out from underneath. Thanks, Raquel. Oh, that's like the hardest part, Charlotte. All the little falls and the bumps and the boo-boos. Oh, my anxiety is not made for that. I'm glad I'm out of that baby stage. <laughs> I was one of those parents that wanted to basically cover everything up to protect him. But him being the way he is, even if I had have, he would have gotten into everything. He is smiling, isn't he? What are you doing? Hello? Oh, watch that tail. Okay. Are you done? You're gonna lay down? Good girl. <laughs> Little brat. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to come back in with the dioxazine purple hue. I'm going to blend this into the black a little bit more. Just lightly, I don't want it too dark. Plus, then I'm going to pick up the non-photo blue. I'm going to go over top of that dioxazine purple hue with that and blend it into the black. And that's going to just lighten it up and give it a little bit of that bluey tone that we want in there too. And we can 
can switch back to the black and just anywhere that we want to darken up, we can go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'm quite loving these birds, they're very colorful. I think I need to start coloring in this book more. I really love all the tropical colors and just the pictures in general. There's just so many pretty ones that I'm afraid of ruining. I need to find the courage to work in this book more. Just going over anywhere where there's too many white spots peeking through. I'm not going to completely burnish the page, but where are you going? You are just up and down, miss. Okay, do you want to lay down or what are you doing? Here, there's some space right here. Be low. She's so undecided. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't step on that. You're going to end up blocking someone, silly. Okay, one more time in with the non-photo blue. And then I think I'm happy with him. Can you smell that? <laughs> Get your little nose in there. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Shonda. That is the purpose. We aim to inspire and hopefully give you the coloring bug back, especially for those that have lost it. I've had a lot of people that message me to say that they haven't colored in months and then watch a video and just get the urge to color. I love that because I'm the same way. If I get in that kind of phase where I don't really want to color, I'll usually end up watching coloring videos and then eventually I'll come across one that just is completely inspiring and then it's like, no, I need to color now. <laughs> well, do we have any leaves on frame? She's laying on my book, so I can't really move it around, but let's see, we could do these leaves here, I suppose. We're done with our two cans, so I can put these colors out. So let's see here, what color leaves did I want to do there? I'm thinking the darker ones here. Oh, kisses, you're so sweet. Thank you. So, let's see, for those ones we used black grape. Dark green. Let's see, we use the marine green, the kelp green, and the celadon. Oh my goodness, you're just giving me a whole bath here, aren't you? She loves smelling my pencils. I don't know why, but. I think it's because I move them around so quickly on the paper that she wants to attack it, so then she has to smell it and realizes that it doesn't smell like food. <laughs> oh, does your brother want out? You know, just because you stare at the cupboard doesn't mean I'm going to give you food. You already ate, sir. Nice try, bud. Okay. She jumped down. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit more for you guys. We got Mr. Stitch up here. Camera's gonna shake, guys. Sorry. Okay, Flicky Tail. Goodness, you're bad for that. Oh, it's cat mania today. Okay, you know what? I am gonna give you your food. Come here. <laughs> they 
are relentless today. Yeah, sorry about that. That's because Stitch jumped off the shelf. I had both of them up here. When I'm coloring, I don't have enough room for both of them. One is okay, but goodness, you get two up here and all hell breaks loose. So, coming in on these ones, starting off with the black grape. So we'll put in a shadow where these leaves are going over top of this one. And then same thing here, we'll put in a shadow where these flower petals are going over this one. <laughs> yeah, the stream hijackers, little buggers. Jenny. Oh, that's too funny. See, I love that. <laughs> Why are you sitting in the corner, mister? Oh, Stitch went and put himself in the corner. I'm not sure why, but... Okay, and then with the dark green, I'm going to come in over top of the, okay, do you, no, come here, come on, go see, go see outside, it's a big world out there, go, 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 come on, stitch, come here, come on, good boy. I don't understand why they like my window above all the other ones. We have a big, beautiful bay window in the living room that is also right in front of the big tree that the birds are in. But they don't like it as much as this one. So as I was saying, I'm just coming in over the black grape with the dark green. These are pretty small leaves, so I'm not going to bring this out too far. I'm basically just going to go over the the purple and then fade it out from there which is basically just lightening up on the pressure of your pencil. I'm worried about the background. That could either make or break a page. I should have done the background first but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. Two seconds, guys. What did you do? I tried to break it down one more baby. And then I went wrong with it. That was so mad. Oh, honey. Well, I will help you fix it later on, okay? Why don't you pick up the pieces and put them on your table in the living room? I have something else to play with for now, okay? Not too long. Oh, honey. As soon as I'm done, okay? 
Alright, put all those papers back in here. We'll go to the kitty center for them. Poor little thing. He's got these Lego Minecraft sets and he's bringing one out to the living room to play with it and dropped it. And it broke into like a million pieces. It is, isn't it, Charlotte? I love that window. Christmas tree windows, as my sister calls them. She was super jealous when we bought this place because she wants a bay window, but thankfully they're finally saving up for a house. Unfortunately, they're like nine hours away and they plan on buying one up there, so kind of miss them, even though she's kind of mean sometimes. <laughs> She's like one of those people that has no filter, so sometimes you just kind of stare at her with an open mouth like, did you really just say that? Okay, marine green next. So I'm going to kind of bring this out into the center and fade it out so that way we've got a little bit of a highlight on either side of the leaves here. I am going to blend it into the other colors. And I'm going to try to leave a little bit of a highlight on the edges of all of these leaves if I can. Just a very slight one. I'm just going to wiggle Lula's back up on the shelf. Okay, and I think instead of using the kelp green, I think I'm going to grab the celadon green. I'm going to use that at the edges. Just because it's really muted, but it's still kind of light. So I don't want the leaves to be too dark. There has to be a little bit of lighter color in there. And the kelp green is a little bit too dark for that. There's one side done. So onto this side, I'm going to do the exact same thing starting off with the black grape. I guess it's like Mandela March Mania, Mandela, March Mandela Mania, I can't remember exactly the hashtag, so um, Moody actually mentioned that on a, well actually I think on the last live stream she commented, I'm assuming Moody is a she, because most of you into coloring are females, but who knows, anyways, Moody mentioned that, so Hopefully, after this, maybe we'll do a Mandela for that hashtag then. Which would be kind of nice after this, something simple and relaxing. This is kind of, kind of tedious and very time consuming. Definitely worth it, but a lot of thought and time goes into this one. a nice palette cleanser just to do something that uh don't really have to think much about oh goodness you are just a pest you know that you are lucky you're cute you are you just lay on my page every time i swear i cannot cuddle with this cat around <laughs> hi night fear thanks Jenny. Oh, thanks, Charlotte. I love when the light hits her. She gets this little silver lining here. It's probably a little bit too light on the camera to see, but... She's my little silver lining kitty, aren't ya? Yeah.
Oh, Kitsi, all about that. <laughs> I know it has Charlotte, it's ridiculous. I think they're putting way too much time into all these new promotions they have with the YouTube without ads and then the YouTube music app and all that stuff going on that they're not really paying attention to live streams right now, which is very annoying. <laughs> yeah, more attention, Veronica. If she's not getting attention, she's not happy. Hi, Savannah. Thank you for joining. I hope you're doing good today. Oh, so many kisses. Why are you so lovey all the time? You're just a sweet girl. You are. You're so sweet. Can I move you over a little bit, though, huh? Without you freaking out and running away. Can we do that? Just need you over a little bit this way. Yeah, no, 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 don't leave. Don't leave. You're good. You're good. You have this half of the book. It's a big book. You can have this whole half of it, okay? Yeah, there you go. Here, I can give you love and color at the same time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Savannah. Yeah, a lot of people don't like that, but I'm not going to change... Or kick my cat out of the room just because they have a problem with it. <laughs> they can find somebody else to watch. And with the dark green now, same thing as we did on the other leaf. Shara. How are you today, sweetheart? We did our giveaway announcement this morning and Helly won. And then we've had lots of kitty interruptions here, mostly from Lilo. pretty funny because when I first got her and first started streaming or even recording videos, she didn't like to be on the camera and now I can't get her away from it. Hi Denise! Well exactly and this art room is pretty much theirs too, like they're in it for like 10 hours a night so <laughs> this art room is pretty much built and made for them, they've got tons of little nook and crannies to hide in, lots of shelves to jump on. And they just claim everything in here. I can't just take it away from them just because I'm streaming. I'm not going to do that. That's not nice. Okay, next in with the marine green. And again, I'm going to bring this up from the darker areas and try and leave little highlights for our lightest color at the tips. Well, more like at the edges of these leaves here. Okay, Brad. Boundaries, remember? You have your half of the page. <laughs> yeah, my house is usually a madhouse. Oh no, Charlotte. I think I would die if I was allergic to cats. <laughs> I would be the saddest person on the earth. <laughs> Rain, like, he makes fun of me because Lilo does this thing where she'll roll around on the floor, like on her back, and she'll roll from side to side with her little paws in the air and she'll clean herself, lick her paws, roll over, lick her paws some more, roll over the other way, and every once in a while she'll look at you to see if you're watching. It's so adorable. And like, I tear up almost every time and Rain looks at me and just shakes his head and calls me a lunatic. <laughs> but I can't help it. He's so cute. Yeah, exactly. 
exactly, Jody. Yes, I definitely hope I can make your guys' stream. Goodness, it's been forever since I've been able to make one. I will definitely try my best and I will hopefully see you guys later. And thank you again for stopping by. Okay, in with the celadon. Just gonna come in at those edges and blend it in. And then these leaves are done. Goodness, Lilo, you hear your hair everywhere. You are shedding like crazy, my girl. Okay, thanks for stopping by, Denise. I hope you have a wonderful walk with your puppy. I'm itching to get outside later, too. I feel like I've been cooped up in the house way too long. I hardly ever post pictures of my cats on Instagram or on Facebook, especially this one, because as much as she loves being in the camera when I'm live streaming, as soon as I try to take a normal picture of her, she's gone. Yeah, I agree, Lou. I'm suspicious of anybody who doesn't like animals. <laughs> okay. Well, since I can't really move my page yet, I suppose we can tackle these leaves here. Just gonna figure out what colors I want to do. I suppose I don't really want to do them the colors of the frog because they'll kind of blend in a little bit too much. So we'll do those leaves the other green, which was, let's see, dark green, olive green, lime peel, and yellow chartreuse. Do we still have, oh yeah, there we go. They are so busy. <laughs> You're a sweet girl, my goodness. There's one thing, she will give kisses for hours. Okay, no more, no more kisses. <laughs> <We love her. laughs> when she starts, she doesn't want to stop. Are you done? Okay, good girl. Okay, it's so coming in with it. Okay, not done. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? No, you can't lick my pencil, you weirdo. You can't lick that. <laughs> oh, goodness, girl. You're so sweet. Okay, I think I'll move that paw. Thank you. Dark green. I'm going to focus this more in the center of the leaf here. I think I want to make these ones fairly bright. You can't fit under there. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Come here. Hey. Leo. Come here. Yes, congratulations again, Helly. Definitely send me an email whenever you get the chance to, hun. Have a wonderful evening. Okay, you chubs, what are you doing? Come in. I'm gonna move you again. Come in. Ooh. Get that big bum over on your side. <laughs> Sorry guys, her tail bumped the camera. <laughs> Still in with the dark green. My mother-in-law's cats had her kittens a little bit ago, 
and I think they're, I can't, I can't remember how old they are, but their eyes are just opening. Cutest little things. You go and touch them and they hiss and spit at you and it's adorable because they're so tiny. <laughs> it's like they act all ferocious, but they're literally like the size of, I don't even know what to compare them to. <laughs> Almost like the size of large mice. Okay, and then we'll come in with the olive green. I'm going to bring this in over top of... Okay, let's move this out of where that little light shadow thingy is. I'm just going to bring this in over top of the dark green and bring it out just slightly. Maybe make a little bit of a curve with it so it doesn't look so flat. Hi, Limit Tail! I do the same thing on this side a little bit. And just a touch in on the top folded part of that leaf there. Thank you! Okay, lime peel. Just gonna throw this in, blend it into our darker colors. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a highlight on either side of the leaf for our lightest colors. Or lightest color. There's only one more after this. I'm gonna try to do the same thing on this leaf. It's pretty tiny though, so it's tricky. Sorry, hun. I will allow anybody who's regularly at the streams to put in channels and stuff. Not just randomly. Okay, and lastly, yellow chartreuse will come right in around at the edges. And just to really lighten this leaf up, I'm just going to go over everything with it, I think. There, just like that. And then we can come over here and do the exact same thing to this leaf. These leaves. There's two. So it is Wednesday. I didn't realize that. Well, actually, I, I kind of did because I said it at the beginning of the video, but didn't really clue in. What are you guys working on? It does, doesn't it, Jody? I love the, the color of that yellow chartreuse. It's a beautiful color. So there's the dark green, and we'll come in with the olive green, kind of the same thing. Just bringing it out slightly, not too much. Protector page. You mean like the page behind? It's good that you were able to fix it though. I love that book. I'm itching to work in it again. That is probably my favorite Hannah Lynn book, I'd have to say. Okay, in with the lime peel. Again, pretty much coloring into that whole space except for the very edge of the leaves. And then we can come in with our yellow chartreuse, go over everything. I 
finally finished my work in progress, so now I am pretty much set up to start recording um, April's color along, which is going to be from Hannah's first book. So I didn't really give a choice for that one because it's it was requested from that book, so I just went with the next one on my list to color in completing it. So I think it's going to turn out really good. It's going to be more of a marker and pencil tutorial as well as a color along, so it should be kind of interesting. Let's see here, let's move to these leaves down here, I think. And that, again, is going to be with our darker combination here. So let's come in with our black grape, and how do I want to do this? <laughs> yeah, nothing fancy though, I just use them as a base, I'm not very good with markers. Although I have seen, even though I've got like really budget friendly markers, I have seen some really beautiful pictures done with just those markers. So. Kind of like curious to try in the future, but markers, to be honest, kind of scares me. So I'm going to come in around the center branch here with the black grape. And then I'm also going to create a shadow here and fade out from it. And maybe make it a little bit darker at the top bit here as well. And then we can do the same on this leaf. Make sure, yeah, it's in frame. Good, good. I've got a bad habit of going out of frame. <laughs> it's a little bit easier on stream because I can just check on my phone rather than check on the camera. The camera that I record on is always on super dim light, so it's really hard to see the picture on it. That way it just lasts longer. I gotta look into getting a new battery for it. Hopefully that'll help it live a little bit longer. Ooh, a grayscale picture. That's another thing that I want to try. I don't think I've ever colored a grayscale picture. They do fascinate me though. I'm glad I'm not the only one, Shara. <laughs> oh, that's okay, hon. Your pages always end up looking amazing. And I'm always, I'm never not impressed by the amount of sparkle that you get on your pages. <laughs> I wish mine sparkled that much. I feel like when I add sparkles to the page, even like glitter or anything, it does not compare to yours. <laughs> Definitely, Savannah. I definitely agree there. Welcome back, Charlotte. Okay, and with the dark green, same thing as we've been doing with this color combination. I'm just going to go over the black grape with this. So I'm going to fade it out on these sides here, but I'm going to mostly do the very tip of this leaf. Fairly dark, I think. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the center of it yet. I think I'll make it light. <laughs> Fake giveaway. Yeah, I got him. It's funny because he didn't even enter the giveaway. It's funny, out of 99 people, I remember almost everybody who did enter. <laughs> Come on in, babe. Yeah, no problem, hon. Sorry, you got a little bit too into coloring, didn't notice at first. Don't what you got? Oh, you want me to put the sword in his yeah, hand? Yeah, but put, put it like not on his head. Put oh, it like, head. like sideways like this, you mean? No, not sideways. 
I bought it. You hold him. I'll hold the sword. I turn this way. Oh my goodness, it doesn't want to go in there. Okay, hold on. Give me this guy. Sorry guys, helping with the Lego thing right now. Having technical difficulties with it though. Oh my goodness, why can't I do this? There you go. I don't, I don't think I can do that again, so try to make sure the sword doesn't come out of there. <laughs> no, Charlotte, I really don't. <laughs> no, you guys. <laughs> okay. I love you too, honey. Oh, that would make sense, Jody. Tried doing that. Hi, Loretta. Um, not sure what you mean by first Legos, hun. Like he's had Lego before, like the bigger Lego, but he's now at that age where he's starting to play with the smaller Legos, and he's got, I think, three. Th th yeah, three little Minecraft Lego sets, and he absolutely loves them. Aw, thanks, Raquel. You have a wonderful day, sweetheart. He's five. He just turned five last month. I'll definitely try that for fairy wings that look awesome, I bet. Okay, in with the marine green now. I'm going to bring this out to almost the very edge, and then I'm going to lighten up the pressure on it. This part, though, on the bottom, I think I'm just going to color that in completely. And then just kind of go over everything to blend it in. And then let's... I'm gonna make a line with the marine green and fade it upwards. So we've got just this little sliver of highlight on the top of this. Oh, I was very strict with mine. I told him that if I find Legos on the floor or if I step on one, it's going straight in the garbage. So he does pretty good. And I spent like two hours cleaning his room last Friday, and it's still clean now. Well, maybe not right now because he's been playing in it, but he has kept it clean and keeps picking up his toys, so he's doing really good. I'm quite impressed with him. So now I've just got to purge through the basement and get that clean up too. And then I will be happy. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Casey. I'm sorry, I might be coloring fast. Okay, I'm just coloring my usual, I think. Okay, and then from there we can switch to the Celadon green. I'm just going to pop that into those highlights and blend it in a little bit. Managed to make Daddy mad already. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> 
I try not to color too fast. Hmm, I don't know what to do with these little grass bits here. I'm kind of debating doing them the same red, reddish brown that I'm going to do with these hearts, but I'm not 100% sure. I think I might, might bounce the page out a little bit more. So now let's come up to these ones here. Oops, I can find them over this way. There. Okay. And these ones are going to be the dark leaves as well. Same with, actually, let's move this up. So same with this one here, this little vine coming out. We'll do that dark. So in with the black grape first. Coming in from the center and the bottoms of these leaves. Oh goodness. Hi Barb! Oh, well, thanks for being here. So you can move that down a little bit. Okay, so there's the black grape, and then same as we've been doing, I'm gonna come in with the dark green and go over top of it. Awesome, Casey. Sorry, guys, one second. I'm just dealing with one of the VIP group numbers here. Yeah, my hubby loves chicken nuggets too. You can never go wrong with those, can you? Okay, and I think I'm just going to skip straight to the celadon green and I'm going to use that to finish these leaves off. Vine, I want to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to grab the marine green and then I'll just color in the rest of that with the marine green. Just like that. Same thing on these leaves coming in with the black grape. Dark green. I 
So I think I mentioned last stream that my mom, one of her dogs, is pregnant. And oh my goodness, I seen her yesterday. Her name's Dash, and she is huge. She looks like she is going to pop any day now, and I'm so excited. So the mother-in-law has the kittens, and my mom is going to have the puppies. So we got best of both worlds coming right now. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. Oh, well, I hope your surgery goes well, hun. And thank you. Okay, in with the marine green, just on this little vine here. And then celadon green up top on these leaves. Uh, it's not too bad, Casey. There's definitely those really detailed pages that Johanna is well known for, but I think it's very simple in comparison to some of her previous books, for sure. I feel like it's probably one of her less detailed books, actually. It's probably one of my favorites because of that as well. Thanks, Savannah. Yes, all the babies. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. And I have to admit, Dash is one of my favorites out of her dogs. She is a... I'm not sure if there's an actual name for her, but she's a Border Collie, but she's brown and white instead of black and white. She's a gorgeous little girl. She's so sweet. I'm just looking at this leaf here, and it's a little bit more speckled than I'd like it to look. So I'm just going to come in with my lime peel. And I'm just going to go over that a little bit more to get rid of those speckles. And with the top of this leaf here. There we go. Happier with that, she didn't match with the other one. They are Charlotte, I love them. They've got three of them. There's Dash, Ditto, and Dot. Oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> no, we have, we have Boom and he doesn't do very good with other animals, so. Unfortunately, otherwise, I would definitely want to be taking one off their hands for sure. Okay, I think all three of these leaves I'm going to do with the darker, darker colors. Let's be honest, my dream dog is a St. Bernard. <laughs> Which is crazy because they're huge. But they're so cute. I had... Just coming in with a black grape here. When I was little and we lived at my grandpa's, his neighbor across the road had a big St. Bernard. His name was Saber. This thing was massive. And he kind of took it upon himself to be like my best friend and he'd like protect me. I remember I was in trouble the one day and my mom was giving me crap and I was running down the road and he got in front of me and actually growled at her. <laughs> He wouldn't let her come near me. He's such a sweet dog. Ever since then, I've always wanted one. But they are super big, so <laughs> it's probably never going to happen. Oh, that's sweet, Savannah. Hi, Joshy. That's okay, Lulu. No problem. That's what I was going to do yesterday was clean up the basement and catch up on streams on the TV. And then, oh my goodness, I just woke up and I was so tired. It's like, no, I'll do it a different day. So that's my plan tomorrow. I want to clean up the basement. It's Carvin's toys. He gets them everywhere. And... I want to make some banana bread too because I think I probably have like 
at least 20 bananas in my freezer, so I, I gotta get rid of some. <laughs> I might have to turn this page a little bit just because these leaves are kind of awkward. <laughs> the target dog. Yeah, when you say that, I know exactly what dog you're talking about. It's the same kind of dog that was on uh, Little Rascals, wasn't it? Or was that a pit bull? Hi, Brenda. 130 pounds. Oh my goodness. He weighs just slightly less than my fiance does. <laughs> That's a big boy. Definitely nobody's going to mess with that dog or his family, eh? <laughs> uh, Joshy, right now I'm using black grape. Oh, really, Charlotte? Rain is actually allergic to bananas, but he can eat banana bread because it's cooked. So that's pretty much the only way that he can eat them. So thankfully, both my boys love it, and I plan on making a whole bunch and sending some off to my dad. Well, stepdad. Just call him my dad. Because he absolutely loves banana bread, so that's my plan. Because I need to get rid of some of those bananas, I need freezer space, and they need to go. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to hop over to this side. I want to keep all these shadows very similar, so I'm going to kind of work away at both sides. The uh, banana allergy, Charlotte? He's allergic to cherries as well and peanuts, but as long as it's cooked, like he could probably eat peanut butter cookies. Well, not probably, he can. I think there's a limit though. If he ate too many, he'd probably get sick, but he was allergic to a lot as a kid. Thankfully, some of those allergies aren't quite as bad, so he can tolerate some, but still want to be really careful. Definitely a perfect mix. Who wouldn't want to talk about food and dogs? Yeah, okay. I did. I thought the little rascal's dog was a pit bull. Yeah, they definitely do have a bad rep. Definitely undeserved, too, that's for sure. 
we were talking about that last stream and I was saying that uh, I know more chihuahuas that are more evil than pit bulls are. Yeah, exactly, Charlotte. They are very, very owner-oriented dogs, that's for sure. I actually have a few people on my Facebook that aren't really fond of pit bulls. I'm using the dark green right now. So I love to share pictures of them snuggled up next to a little baby or, you know, something like that cuddling with a little four-year-old just to kind of make him mad, eh? It's like, oh, look how ferocious that dog is. <sighs> Goodness. <laughs> Our boomer is nothing but a sweetheart. He just has other problems with dogs, and that's because of Rain's anxiety. Nothing to do with him. I finally found that, Charlotte. I have it on demand, so I can watch pretty much any episode I want. So I'm going to get into that with the little one. I think he'll like that. So definitely thank you for that recommendation. Guys, if you have any questions or anything directed towards me that you want answered or anything, make sure that you put it in caps so I can see it. I try to follow along with the chat as much as I can, even if it's in smaller, uh, smaller, like lowercase, you know what I mean, like non-caps. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if there's something that you want answered or completely directed towards me, then put it in caps. Makes it a little bit easier. I know for a while he will. Well, I know I will too, because I love animals, but he'll definitely love it. He loves everything. All animals. And like little bugs, little ants. He's always trying to protect them and help them get home and stuff. He's so sweet. I love the depth of this green and black grape. This is probably my new favorite green combination. I am in Brooks, Alberta. I would love to travel to Ontario one day. That's actually where my best friend is from. Heard wonderful things about the... Kind of like the landscape there and the environment. Although I do think I would feel a little bit claustrophobic. Because we pretty much just have like wide open prairie here. You can see like as far as your eye can see. So... I think with all the trees and stuff, I'd get a little bit kind of homesick. I 
that is definitely be beautiful to see. Thank you, Casey. I'm quite happy with it. I'm excited to see how it turns out and I'm definitely nervous about the background. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, and I always say to do this if you're nervous about adding something and you think it might ruin your picture, take a picture before. Get everything else finished that you can and then take a before picture in case you end up not liking it. And then you can always post your before picture and then just keep your page kind of to yourself. <laughs> Although I do finish flips, so even if I did think it turned out terrible, you guys would see it and I'll still post the background whether it's done in a pre-recorded video or um, if we do do it on stream. I'm not sure how long it's going to take though, so we'll kind of, I'll make up my mind at the end of this stream, I think. We'll have to see. I'm trying to at least get all of these leaves and everything done, that way I can take my before picture, but we'll see. Okay, next up, that'd be awesome, Charlotte. Although, I don't think I'd enjoy the heat. Don't know if I said, but I'm going in with the marine green now. Oh. Got it. Thank you. If anybody else wants to put their um, their channels and stuff, links, go ahead. Is there a way? Hopefully one of you can let me know. Because I know on Nick and Tina's stream, somebody has to approve a link if they are put in. How do I make it so it's the same here? So that way not just anybody can put a link in? I'm going to switch back to the dark green and just color in this little bit here and then just the very tips of these center veins where they come out from behind something. And then again I'm just going to grab the celadon green and color in around the edges of these leaves. Is that side done? I can come over and finish up this side. So again, in with the marine green here. Oh, thank you, Jody. Does anybody have any exciting plans for this summer? I think we're going to be going fishing as much as we can and shooting bow and arrow. My uh, little nephew loves bow and arrow, so I'm hoping to get him out doing that. 
still in with the marine green here. Kind of get him off of his games. Get him out. And I think at the end of the summer, we're going to the Calgary Zoo with my mom. I'm pretty excited for that. This is the dark green. Again, just going to color this little branch behind and then come in on just the very ends of those leaves. Your veins, I suppose, and then celadon green. Come through and finish them off. But I think other than that, we're probably just going to do a lot of walking, some hiking, kind of do some picnics and stuff. I think it'd be pretty fun. Just kind of cheap, cost-efficient things where we can kind of stick around home, but still enjoy the day. I'm excited. I want to start jogging every morning too, as soon as it gets warm out. I've got to build my lung capacity back up because ever since I quit smoking, I feel like I get winded very easily. Hi, Casey. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, that's the plan, Charlotte. We want to do as much as we can with him while he's at this age. And the zoo is going to be so much fun. I absolutely cannot wait for that one. He is going to love it. And I'm actually pretty excited there as well because they've got penguins and I have to say I've never seen a penguin before so it <laughs> should be pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to grab my orange Posca and I'm going to come in and just color in these little tips here on this leaf and of course on this one as well. That way it'll be dry and we can put in just a little bit of shading on them at the end of the stream. And then I'm also going to grab my black fine liner and I'm just going to bring back the uh, oh, black fine liner might not be enough actually. I think I need my black Posca for that. Okay, so black Posca it is. Be really careful though because this thing loves to bleed so just going to take this, I'm going to try and bring back that uh, highlight in the bird's eye. I don't want it to be so thick, I want it to be kind of thinner like that there. I don't think I like this little dot either, so I'm going to take that out. There, kind of like that instead, I like that, it's more simple. So I'm going to do the same thing on this guy here. There. Because really, they don't even really look like they have highlights. Their eyes are just like straight black and it is almost kind of creepy, but <laughs> I want them to have a little bit of a highlight so they look more friendly. Not like they're gonna like shank you as soon as you walk into the jungle. <laughs> oh, I bet Charlotte she's gonna love it. Oh, that's exciting. I hope he loves it. Little mini boss, he's so sweet. Okay, we've got 20 minutes. Can we get all of this done? I don't know. <laughs> We don't really have too much left. Um, there was one thing I'm gonna do, actually. I'm gonna grab my yellow Posca. I'm gonna come down to Mr. Frog here and I'm just gonna completely color in over his eyes and I'm gonna go with the yellow. We've had this one colored in orange for the longest time now and I just, I don't like it. But I don't really like the white either, so we're gonna go yellow. We'll put in just a tiny bit of orange in once that's dry as kind of like a shadow color. And then we'll draw back in his pupil there, make it more like almost like a cat eye, I think. And then hopefully, hopefully that'll work. Yeah, they did, didn't they, Jody? <laughs> they looked very evil, did not like it. Okay, so now, just need to figure out a color combination for this. And I'm thinking to actually use 
the Tuscan Red and the Raspberry that we used in the Bird Sneak. I don't really want to be bringing in any new colors, or at least not just new colors. I want to be able to tie them in with the colors that we have. Because when you've got pretty much this much, we're like 90% done with the colors on this page, so don't really want to bring in any new colors. So what did I say? Raspberry, right? What's that? I just had it too. What colors were those? Raspberry and Tuscan Red. Right, right. So here's the raspberry, Tuscan red, and then I think a little bit of black will do just perfect for these leaves. Maybe uh, a little bit of pink too, actually. Let's grab what pink to be used for the flowers. We used hot pink, but I don't really want it to be bright. So let's go in with the blush pink. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. Hi, Debbie, thank you. And the black, where is that? That's indigo, don't want that one. No, that's black, great. Did I have, I had it out, where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Oh no, <laughs> I'm glad you're back now, hon. Okay, so I've gotta be mindful of where I put that Posca too. Hi, Joey. So, just gonna come in with the Tuscan Red at first. Very lightly because I think I want to go over this with the black. I'm going to put in the shadows first thing. I'm also going to come in on these little pokey bits here, kind of blend out a little bit from them. Bring this down, fade it all out. This one here is going to be fairly light. Maybe just do a little bit of a shadow on the right side of it here. And I'm just gonna very, very lightly color over everything except where I want the highlights to be. So there's a little bit of highlight at the top here and then all around the edge of this one. A little bit of highlight here. And then same with this one. We've got a little bit of highlight coming all around this side. And I'm going to Sorry if I bumped the camera here. I'm going to switch over to the other side and do the same thing here. I want to keep those shadows relatively equal. Um, maybe fine liners would probably work or even colored pencil as long as you didn't go over the area. Um, if you have, then I'd say acrylic paint would be a good one to have, and you can get cheap acrylic paint at Walmart. That's probably what I would use, I think. Acrylic paint and a toothpick can do wonders. remember that the shadows are going to be on the opposite sides on this one. And I also want to just kind of lightly color in these little bits here. I forgot about that, so let's switch to the other side. Oh, right there. Color in those bits. And then I'm going to switch to the black. Thanks, Caroline. Thanks, Joey. I love those orange in the leaves, too. It really makes them stand out. Okay, so in with the black. I'm going to go fairly firm, I think. I'm just going to bring this in at the shadows at first. Firm, but not going to add too much of it. So in at the shadows and then in at these kind of pokey bits here. And this just kind of muddies up the Tuscan Red a little bit. A little bit on either end of these little vines here. A 
Yeah, I rarely ever use orange tea, actually, to be honest. I don't really like using it. Even more so, I really don't like using red. <laughs> I feel like every time I add red to a picture, unless it's just reds, oranges, and yellows, anytime there's other colors and I add red, I end up not liking it, and I'm not sure why. Miss Lilo is just snoozing away on her chair. I'm gonna come back in with the Tuscan Red on these bits here, color them in pretty firm, and then I'm gonna go back over the shadowed areas with a firm pressure as well. Blend into that black and out from it. From there, I'm going to grab the raspberry. I'm just going to bring this slightly out from our Tuscan Red. Kind of go over top of everything. Like this to kind of blend it all together. And then as we get to the shadowed areas, I'm going to fade it out. I am still going to very lightly go over our highlights. That way the blush pink kind of blends in a little bit more. Hi, Dorothy. <laughs> Same thing on this one. And then we can switch to our blush pink, which I'm going to sharpen. Ooh, yummy Nanamo. I'm excited for lunchtime. I'm gonna have some leftovers. I made some spinach spaghetti the other day and it is amazing. I figured it'd be nice and healthy and easy on the hubby's tummy since he had the stomach flu. And he came home from his course, which he passed, by the way. He did pass his gun course. So he can now apply for his uh, unregistered or registered firearm. I can't remember. Basically his pistol license. So he came home from the course and ate a huge bowl full and felt way better. So I was pretty happy. <laughs> okay, there we go. So those are those leaves done. And then we can come over and finish them on this side and hopefully we'll have might have to go slightly over to finish everything but that's okay because I don't think anybody uh streams till I think an hour after me maybe oh definitely Debbie you could even make them pink if you wanted to but this is more of a realistic color they do have sorry going in with the Tuscan red now they do have Kind of like these purpley colored leaves. So although different colors, still kind of in that realistic kind of look, because that's kind of what we were going for, or not even really going for, but that's kind of what we ended up with really. Doesn't look, I'm going to switch to the black here. I don't think I went over these little bits here with the black, so I'm just going to do that now. Yeah, definitely. He's pretty happy. It's another thing off of his ever-growing list that he can cross off, so I don't have to hear about it anymore, so yay me! <laughs> no, I support him, but I think he's crazy sometimes, to be honest. I think he should, Casey. That's kind of a part of the learning. Switch to the raspberry now. If you color different things, then you kind of 
kind of like expand your learning and then you can apply that to other pages as well. So I would definitely recommend coloring something that you wouldn't normally. So, you know, you're going to get good coloring the same things over and over as well. But Treading in unfamiliar territory is another good way to really get yourself out there. Just to be honest, I don't usually color like this. So this is kind of new to me too. This is a lot more realistic than I've done in a lot of my pictures, I think. Oh, Savannah, I am not really sure, hun. You can't really force yourself into it. You just kind of got to let yourself feel it. Because if you color when you don't feel like it, you're just not really going to like it. And then it's going to take longer to get back into it. So... I would say just continue being part of the coloring community and just, you know, watch videos if you feel like it and, you know, hopefully eventually you'll come across that one video that kind of gives you your coloring mojo back. Okay, there's those leaves finished. Now we can tackle these vines. So again, I'm going to come in with the Tuscan Red just lightly. I'm going to keep this to kind of like the tops of these leaves here. So coming all the way down the center. Come in with the black now. Again, I'm going to keep that kind of focused in the center and at the very bottoms of these leaves. I guess technically the tops with the way that they're, they look on the page. Oh, that's okay, hon. But I do hope you get your coloring mojo back soon. I'd be lying if I said that I didn't get in slumps like that, too. Okay, back in with the Tuscan Red. I'm just going to darken this up coming out from the black. And then kind of fade it out as we get closer to that uncolored bit of the vine. Or leaves, I suppose. Same thing here. Raspberry, same thing, and I think I'm just going to completely color these ones in. No pink for these ones. What's up, sweetheart? Can we go at the park again? Yeah, we might be able to. We go, we know we go at the park. Coming in with the black now, I just want to bring in those shadows a little bit more. Can I join you for a little bit? You go play for a little bit, okay? But I no, mommy you. wants to get this done. Oh, I want to Next you time, okay? Lilo. Well, you can hang out with Lilo, that's fine. You. you just have to be quiet, okay? Oh, I'm going to be trying to get some more. Okay, honey. Okay, there we go. So now we can come down here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get all of these in frame. Oh, we might actually be able to. Mm -hmm. How can you heal your 
friend on me. <laughs> I can't hear them, honey. I read what they say. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks, Joshy. Okay, this time I think I'm just going to start with the black first. So I'm going to pop this in in the shadows. Fade it out wherever I'm putting it as well. So I think what I want to do for these leaves, I'm just going to very, very lightly go in around this border and color it in because I want the border to be darker than the inside of the leaves. Done, kiddo. What do you want for lunch? I don't know what I want for lunch. Okay, we'll figure it out when I'm done, okay? Okay. All right, love you. Yeah, yeah. The little one just cannot sit still. is a sweetie. I actually didn't get quite as much as I wanted to get done this morning because I ended up sleeping in because he slept in. He usually wakes me up. But he had a sleepover at my mom's place and they don't really have a bedtime enforced there so he didn't go to bed till like 11 o'clock. So I was super tired, came home and just slept like crazy. <laughs> Okay, then I'm going to come in with the Tuscan Red and over top of the black, the little vines here, I'm just going to completely color in. And same with these outlines, I'm just going to color in with that. And that little bit of black background is really going to darken up the Tuscan Red here. Oh, actually, let me grab my black here again quick, too, because there is a little bit of leaf coming from up here, too. I almost missed that. And, hi, Robin. Yeah. It's two hours is a long time for him to keep occupied. He does really good. I'm just going to come in with the black, and we'll put a little bit of shadow on the frog's toes while I've got the black in my hand. Same thing for this guy. Okay, and then we can come back down here with our Tuscan Red. I'm just going to color in this top area here and then I'm going to fade it out as I get down to the bottom. Yeah, usually he's got his daddy to play with him, but I think he's out doing some shopping. He just got home. He's kind of in a mood this morning. I think he's in a lot of pain today. So I just try and stay out of his way. <laughs> Couldn't even imagine the pain that he goes through on a daily basis. So when he gets in his moods, I just kind of let him be. So 
Especially since one crazy thing about his condition is the more he rests, the more pain he's in. So if he exercises and stuff, the pain actually isn't so bad. But with recovering from the stomach flu, he can't really overdo it. So he's been forced to rest, which in turn makes his spondylitis flare up quite a bit. Poor guy. Okay, there's little bits of that done, so let's, um, still coming out with the Tuscan Red, I'm going to put some in the top and the bottom, I'm just going to fade it down. So, pretty firm on the very tops and very bottoms, and then just kind of fading it up. Yeah, it sucks. Not much we can do about it though, we just kind of got to live with it and do the best we can. Oh, that sounds cool, Charlotte. My little one has this turtle that sings him lullabies and if you turn it on, there's three different color options. There's red, blue, and green and it projects stars all over his room. He absolutely loves it. Then we can switch to our raspberry, which for the grass blades, I'm just going to completely color in the rest with that. And these little hearts though, I'm going to come in over top of the Tuscan Red and just fade it out into the middle. Still going to color over the middle, but not going to color hard. And we'll do the same thing for all of them. And now we can switch to our blush pink. I'm just going to use that to go over everything. Mostly in the center though. Another thing, let's see if I can find them there. We'll come up to these little leaf bits. I'm going to take the Tuscan Red and I'm just going to color in. Actually, Tuscan Red isn't quite dark enough here. I'm going to take the black instead. I'm just going to color on the very tops of these little bits. As well as take my black fine liner and I'm actually going to outline them too because I kind of went over the outlines with them, so I just want to kind of bring that shape back. And we'll do the same thing on this side here. So in with the black, shade a little bit at the very tops, and then fine liner and outline them. Oh, kind of went over that one, that's okay. I haven't, Robin. <laughs> I have books to read, have not read them. <laughs> I'm bad, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, Froggy. Let's take our orange. If I can find it, which one's orange? This one's orange. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this orange. Just kind of in around, that actually it's not working very good. Let's grab the raspberry to see if this works. Mm, it's 
slightly. So I'm just going to place a little bit of that in on his eye. Give it a little bit of shading. I did it on both. And then come in with my black. I'm going to put his little pupil in there and then I'm also going to outline his eye there. Same thing on this guy. And then we've only got one more part to color before we call it a day, and that is the little toes of our toucans. So let me just look them up quick here. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, their feet are kind of blue almost, like a bluey gray. Yeah, they are. So I'm just going to grab the 70 and 90% cool gray, and then I'm also going to grab our non-photo blue out again. I'm going to go lightly over top of their feet with the non-photo blue. I'm going to put in the shadows with the 90% cool gray. So just kind of coming out from under the bird here. Maybe a little bit of shadow. Or his little toes curl underneath. And on the side of this one. And then in with the 70% cool gray, I'm just going to lightly go over that blue as well to make it more of a gray color. Back to the non-photo blue and I can use that to burnish. So just like that. And actually maybe switch back to the 90% and I'm just going to color in that little bit where his toes curl, even though I think that'd be background, but I'll keep them like that. Okay, same thing for this guy. Light layer of the non-photo blue. In with the 90% cool gray, we'll color in this little half circle here. All along underneath his little body here where he kind of sits on his toes. A little bit of a shadow on the furthest one back, so on this one it'd be the left one, but kind of the right or the left side of this middle line. Then a little bit underneath. 70% cool gray, just lightly going over that. And then we can burnish and finish it with the non-photo blue. And there. Um, Casey, I am going to do a background. And I think I am going to... Oh, here, let me just zoom out here so you guys can see. I am going to do it in a pre-recorded video. So next stream, we'll start a mandala, and then after that, I'm not too sure. I was thinking maybe we could do a Jasmine Beckett Griffith, one of the mini pages, and do a limited color palette there, like a five-color pencil challenge. Not 100% sure. We'll kind of see. So this is what we have so far. Um, I think it definitely looks really good. I'm glad that I went with the purple in here. It just adds a little bit more lightness, and that way not all of the leaves are green. But I do really like the different colors that we've got in here. And yeah, I'll do a pre-recorded background. It's going to be all pencil, and I think it's mostly going to be purples, blues, maybe a little bit of yellow. I kind of have an idea in my head whether or not I can get it out on the paper. I'm not 100% sure. And just to be safe, I'm going to take a picture of this to post in case the background turns out terrible. <laughs> Which hopefully it won't, but... My goodness, this page has taken a long time to color. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and keep a lookout for that background bit coming up then. Thanks everyone, definitely appreciate that. And if anybody sees Dusty in any streams, remind her to email me. I'm not sure if she has already and maybe got the email wrong, I'm not sure, but yeah. That's okay, Robin, no worries, hon. Thanks, everyone. All right, guys, take care. Bye.